Hello everyone, I'm Amy with Lily Bean Designs. Welcome this afternoon. How's everyone doing today? Um, I am going ahead and painting the backer for this door hanger because um, y'all have already seen me paint black and white stripes. So I figured I would get that part done ahead of time. So I did two coats of white and um, trying to see if anybody's watching. If you're watching, say hello and tell me where you're watching from. The um, StreamYard has changed something. Something looks different today. I don't know why my banners are black instead of pink. It's kind of like you can see pink behind uh, the, my name and the pink cam. I don't know why it's doing that. It's really strange. So anyway, I don't know. It looks different to me today. So just I want to make sure that y'all can hear me and see me. Hey, Diana. Hey, Leisha. Shirley. How are y'all doing? Thank you for joining me. Okay, so we are going to paint this cute little Just Mary door hanger. This is a gift um, for a family friend. And I'm actually, I'm not going to put the names on it live because um, I don't want them to know that it's for them. And I don't know if they watch this anyway, but just in case I just, you know, um, it's a like a bridal shower gift. Um, watching from Texas. Got two people from Texas today. Nebraska, Oklahoma. Very cool. Okay, so I've painted my backer. Um, the As usual, um, this file has the split version for Glowforge. So if you need to make a split backer, you can. Um, and then you can just piece it together with like the, the attachment piece that goes on the back. So this one has, um, to help you paint these stripes, um, the score lines are included. You can either score them or engrave them. Um, it doesn't really matter if you're going to paint you know, paint on top of them anyway, then I would just score them. You don't need to go to the trouble of um, engraving them. Okay, so that is already done. And if you want to cut the holes out, the holes are also included for your backer as well in, this, in the split version and the solid version. Okay, so let me set this over here. Does that make sense? Am I confusing y'all? I know most of y'all know how I do it. I, I try to make my files work for a big laser, but also for somebody who has a smaller laser and doesn't want to have to fiddle with the pass-through door. So, um, and I know some of y'all buy your circle backers. Um, I sell circle backers in my store if you need them. Um, I know some of y'all come out with a jigsaw or a, a router. So, all right. So these are our attachments. I'm so excited about this sign. This is really fun. And then we have a few hearts. And then we have our names that we're going to paint up here. Um, so this piece comes in two pieces because put together, it's too big to fit in the Glowforge bed. So I just went ahead and I split it like that. And that way you can cut it um, without a pass-through door, well, door as well. And then this piece right here is, um, hey guys, hey Star and Laura. Um, whoever is from Ohio, you have to give Facebook or StreamYard permission so I can see your name. I can't see who you are, just as Facebook user. Um, so this little piece here, you don't have to cut this separately unless you want to. You can just paint the Just Married, but I think it looks cute to have it like popped out a little bit. So I cut it separately. So we're gonna paint that as well. And of course, what color would we use for our car besides my favorite color, which I can't ever remember the name of? Why, why is that? Seabreeze. I want to call it Bermuda. Okay, that is what I want to call it every time. And I don't know why. Actually, I think I do know why. Now that I say that out loud. Oh, shoot. I don't have a paper plate. I might dig a paper plate out of my trash can for my last sign that I can. Or I might not. I might go grab a paper plate. Hold on. Got to have something to put my paint on. I normally buy those um, really cheap, thin paper plates for painting, but I couldn't find them last time. The store was sold out, so I just I've been using these from my kitchen. Um, okay, so the the color. Um, Okay, if, did anybody used to do Stampin' Up? Is any Are there any paper crafters in here that did Stampin' Up? Isn't there a color called Bermuda Bay that's this color? I think that's why I want to call it Bermuda. Every time I want to call it Bermuda. And I've, I've loved this color for going on two years now. And I still want to call it the wrong thing. Okay, so we're going to paint our car first. I'm looking over here at my picture. 
And I've cut all of this out of quarter inch maple um, because as you know, if you watch me, you know that is what I have on hand. All right, so I'm just gonna paint right over top of this because we don't need this. I could have just not, um, not scored this. Well, we don't need to paint over it because we're gonna cover it up with the attachment. So we can just kinda paint around it actually. So I'm just using kind of a medium sized angled brush. What are y'all doing today? Is anybody painting while I'm painting? Is anybody crafting, cutting out a laser project? I know I don't have to be exact around here. I'm actually gonna overlap this a little bit just so it doesn't show through when I put the other piece on top of it. Let's see, make sure y'all can see. It is 80 degrees today where I am in Virginia, which is really nice. I'm loving this warmer weather. Um, I actually tried to keep the windows open yesterday and ended up having to um, having to give up and close the house up and turn on the AC. Plus the pollen is awful. The pollen is just insane. I don't remember pollen like this when I was a kid. Is pollen worse now? Is it a global warming thing? I don't know. I did grow up in the mountains of Virginia though. So maybe because of the elevation, we didn't have the pollen. Or maybe as a kid, I just didn't care about the pollen. You know, that was a, an adult problem. <laughs> Keeping the pollen off of everything. Washing your car all the time. Kids don't care about pollen. Um... Yeah, Robin, I don't use Baltic birch. I use maple. This is quarter inch maple from Lowe's. I get it um, by the pallet and it is about $33 a sheet. And I think it might have even gone up to 34 last time. Or maybe even higher. My husband gets my wood for me. Um, and he every time he gets it, he's like, it, it had gone down a little bit. And the last couple of times he's gotten it, he's like, it's gone up again. So we get a whole bunch at a time. It is, what is the palette? 30 sheets? Yeah, it's like 30 sheets of wood. The four by eight sheets. I love this color. And this car looks like one of those old uh, antique cars. I don't know my cars, so I'm not going to attempt to tell you what car I think it looks like. I have no idea, but it looks like one of those old timey cars. Um, oh no, Lori, you're in bed sick. First time in three years. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, working your full time job while listening to you. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry you're sick. I haven't been sick in a couple years either. Um, my whole family had COVID at different times and I was around them the entire time and I never got sick, thankfully. Um, I worked as a nurse during COVID and never got it. And I was a labor and delivery nurse. So um, it's really hard when you're in labor to keep your mask on. Um, I honestly think it's a, a form of torture to make a woman in labor wear a mask, honestly. But, you know, we had to do what we had to do. Um, but you know, those masks were always falling down and you were right, right up in there, you know, close with your patients and, um, yeah, I never got it even with patients who tested positive. So I don't know. I hope you don't have COVID, but hopefully you don't have anything too terribly miserable. I know like just regular, regular colds are back, flu and colds are back. <laughs> oh goodness.
um, Joyce, this is, um, I, I was just saying, I want to call it Bermuda Bay. It's called Sea Breeze by um, Deco Art. This is the, the little, the little Deco Art um, paint. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, any craft store has, usually has the Deco Art paints. That's all I use besides Posca pens. I mean, I won't say all I use. I do use a couple of Waverly colors. And um, I do have a couple of tubs of like the interior, like home interior paints, just that I've had for a while that sometimes I'll grab. You know, the sample ones you can get at Lowe's and Home Depot. I do have some of those. And like I said, it doesn't matter that I've gone over my lines here because that's going to get covered up. I just think it looks cute to have that piece kind of pop out. This would make a really cute shower gift or engagement gift or wedding gift. Um, you could do all different colors for the cars. All right, I'm going to try to do kind of a second coat here before I move on to my next piece. You could do a metallic color. That would be cool. It's always fun to add a little glitter to um, wedding signs. I'm not sure where I would put glitter on this sign. Maybe on the on the cans, we could add a little silver glitter. I don't know. We'll see. Is anybody making any good food today? We always talk about the weather and what shows we're watching and what we're eating. So if you're new, those are our, our go-to topics of conversation <laughs> while we're painting. So is anybody cooking anything good? Okay, so I'm making wings. I think we might have talked about wings last time. I'm going to try and make wings tonight. I did not make them last time. So we'll see how those turn out. I don't know. I'm gonna, thinking about maybe doing them in the air fryer. Has anybody done wings in the air fryer? I like, we like the, our wings crispy though. Like we don't like the breading, like a lot. We don't like a lot of breading. We like them to not be too wet, like a dry wing without a lot of breading and crispy. So we're kind of picky. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to achieve that in my house because I don't have a deep fryer. And I think you need a deep fryer to achieve that, that kind of wing. So we will see. Is anybody watching anything good? I need some recommendations. Um, I'm caught up on This Is Us. We watched that last night. My friends and I watch that every week. So... Um, that's one of our favorites. I am not liking some of the things that are going on in the show, but I'm not going to spoil it for anybody who has not watched it. I'm also watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel on Amazon on Prime, and that is really good. If you guys like shows that are set back in the 50s and 60s, then you should watch The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paint this piece while I have this color out. I'm going to paint this piece. I think it's a nasty bug. Yeah. That's no fun, especially when it's like just starting to get nice outside.
I'm painting over these letters, but I'm going to go back and paint them, um, paint them black. But it would be really difficult to try to paint around them. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a coat of the, um, the sea breeze on here. Well, two coats of the sea breeze. And then we're going to paint black for the letters and do some highlighting. All right, I'm going to hit this with my hair dryer real quick so I can do a second coat and be done with um, with that color. You like the air fryer wings? Have you made wings in there before? I love my air fryer. It's great for lots of stuff. What do you like to make in the air fryer? We do meatballs in there. Um, it's great for heating up leftover pizza. Sausage, bacon. Um, what else? I've done pork chops in there. It's wonderful for like making um, a couple pieces of um, garlic bread. And we do roasted potatoes in there too. So like um, cut up red potatoes into chunks and put some olive oil, salt and pepper and um, Italian seasoning on them and toss them. And um, they get nice and crispy in there. Okay, so that piece is done until we do our letters. All right, hold on. Sorry, I had to get a tissue. I don't know why I always get the sniffles when I'm painting. All right, so let's do let's do these little hearts next. And these, um, let me see. I'm looking at my little picture over here. So I need these two to be dark pink, and this one, this one's going to be dark pink, and these are going to be light pink. So we're just going to paint these with um, Posca pens. Um, Joyce, it's funny that you asked that question because I just started cleaning my air fryer. Um, the, I'm going to call it the cheater method, <laughs> the cheater method for your air fryer. And that is to put a little bit of water in it, just enough to like cover the basket and, uh, just a couple drops of dish liquid and run it for like five minutes. And then you should be able to just wipe everything out of it. Like just, you know. Um, you still have to wash it, but it's just easier to wash. Like it takes all the, the stuck on food off of it. So I saw that on TikTok, and, um, I was like, oh, that's smart. So I did that and it works really well. I also, um, saw like after you're done blending something, just put a little bit of, of dish liquid and water in your blender and then run your blender again for like another minute. And, um, that cleans your blender as well. You know, it's common sense, but I just don't think of these things, right? <laughs> Although I can put my, um, oh, this is really light. I'm going to need a few coats of this. I can put my air fryer pieces in, um, in the dishwasher. Like it's their dishwasher safe, but it's just convenient to just do that real quick after I'm done. We're going to need a couple coats of that pink. It's pretty though. Just need to brighten it up a little bit.
You guys have ordered a lot of circles lately. Thank you so much. We've been selling the heck out of some circles. We have um, packs of five of the rounds, um, 16 inch and 18 inch for really good price right now um, at Etsy shop and it's free shipping for the five packs. So we've been selling quite a few circles. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna paint these letters. Like I said, this is actually not the name I'm gonna put on here. I'm gonna temporarily tack these letters on here just so I can take a picture of the sign when I'm done. But these are not the names that I'm using on this sign because this is a present and I'm trying to keep it a little bit of a secret. You do yours the same way, but with white vinegar. Oh, and you do your microwave like that too. Interesting. So do you do like, do you put um, vinegar and water in a bowl in the microwave and just run it for a couple minutes and like it steams it? Is that what you mean? Y'all, my stomach's going to start growling. I can feel it. I'm ready for lunch. This is a pretty pink color. It's like a baby pink. This is Posca light pink. In a bowl. Yep, exactly. Cool. I'll have to try that. I see TikTok hacks all the time for cleaning. Like the other day I saw one that was so simple where um, if you use liquid laundry detergent, which I use the pods usually, but if you use liquid laundry detergent, after you dump the cup of laundry detergent in the washing machine, you throw the cup, you know, cause the, obviously the, you know, the cup gets all gross with the um, liquid. You throw the cup in the, in with the clothes and let the machine wash it. And apparently people are saying that they, it's accidentally been tossed into the dryer and it does fine. It doesn't melt the cup. Like there's a bunch of people that were saying, this is how I was taught like early, early in life. And I've been doing this like the whole time. And I'm like, I don't know that my mother taught me cleaning hacks. My mother taught me lots of things, but not cleaning hacks. I love TikTok for that reason. Like you just see all kinds of things and you're like, oh my gosh, seriously? Like I would never have thought of that. It's funny how you, you stumble onto areas of TikTok that other people might not be on. Like mine is, I'm, I'm on food talk. <laughs> so I get a lot of recipes. I get a lot of keto recipes because at one point I was searching keto recipes. Um, there's a couple of comedians that pop up on there that are really funny that I hadn't heard of before. Yeah, it's just funny what ends up showing up on your feed. All right, I'm going to put a second coat on these little pink parts. So the show that I'm watching, um, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, is um, it, it makes me want to go back and live in the 50s and 60s. I just, I love that era. I feel like I belong in that era a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm, you know, I know I go live on Facebook. I love social media. It's um, 
really helped my business. Um, but there are just some things back then that just were simpler, you know. But technology does a lot of things to make our lives easier, but it also complicates our lives a lot too, right? It gives us a lot more things to have to keep up with all the time. Unless you're just one of those people that can choose not to do that, you know? Um, my mother, for instance, she just decided one day, she says, I'm just not going to check my email anymore. And I was like, uh, Mom, you can't just not check your email these days. Like, there's important things in there that come in your email. That's like saying, I'm not, I'm just not going to walk out to the mailbox anymore, you know? <laughs> But she does it. She does not check her email, I'm telling you. She's like, they'll find me if they want me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my Lord. Is it nice and warm where you guys are today, too? We have to do some yard work tonight. Our yard is becoming a jungle very quickly. We need to cut the grass and do some weeding big time. What is everyone doing for Easter? Tell me what you're doing. Tell me all your yummy things that you are cooking or eating. So I am having my sister and her children and my mom and um, stepdad over for a, just a small brunch. And we are going to um, my sister-in-law's house for the other side of the family. That's going to be a bigger event. That's like 32 people. But um, I'm making deviled eggs, which I love. And homemade mac and cheese. Who can resist that, right? Okay, that's all the letters. Uh, we need to do, let's see, what else do we need to do? Light pink. So I'm going to get this piece. And those over there. So we're going to paint um, the license plate is going to be this light pink color. Sorry, y'all, that is my creaky chair. If you're not a regular viewer, my chair is creaky, creaky, creaky. It drives me crazy. Um, oh, man, stop checking his mailbox. Oh, goodness. Wow, Laura, that's awful. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the last resort the way people can get you is is through your mail. You can't just not check your mail anymore. There was a Seinfeld episode about that. Do you guys did y'all ever see the Seinfeld episode where um Kramer was trying to get his mail canceled? He did not want mail anymore. It was so funny. I used to love that show. We're gonna do these. Beer cans with pink labels because I can have pink labels on my beer cans if I want to, right? Y'all can make your beer labels whatever color you want, but mine are going to be pink. They could be soda cans. They don't have to be beer cans. But it wasn't it like when you tied cans to the car, wasn't it just kind of like classically beer cans? Weren't that the the weren't those the kinds of cans that got tied to the back of cars back in the day nobody does that anymore do they do people still tie um cans to cars after after people get married i haven't seen that in so long has anybody seen that recently i'm gonna just hit this with the dryer it just feels too wet to do a second coat even with the paint pen
I have a lot of um, a lot of flash on this. Do you guys call it flash? I have a lot of flash on this wood cutout, which is normally not the case because I have a thunder laser and I cut my quarter inch wood with my thunder laser and I normally don't have flash like this. If you don't know what flash is, it is the, <clears throat> the hazy, um, you know, around the outside where the wood is cut. You can see it a lot on this piece. See how that's very hazy and yellowed? That's flash or at least that's what I've always called it. Um, and I figured out the reason what was happening is um, my thunder laser, if you're just cutting, and tell me if anybody has a thunder laser, tell me if this is the case for you. Now my machine is a couple years old. Um, if I'm just cutting, then I can cut straight from light burn. Like I can just click cut in light burn. But if I'm cutting and scoring, then I need to send the project to the controller and then click cut from the controller. <clears throat> and it has something to do with the air assist. It will still work to score straight from the machine, but the air assist does not come on completely like it needs to. And that is why the flash happens. And I had forgotten that because I'm so used to, I do a lot of cutting. So I normally just click cut from the machine and I forgot that. And I was like, why am I getting all this hazy like flash? And it's, it, that's why. All right. I may do one more coat on that um, license plate before I do the letters. Um, we are going to do, what are we going to do next? We're going to do some gray. And I think I'm just going to use paint for this. All right, so this is Deco Art Gray Sky. Let's still use this brush here. Oh, I can't, I wish I could see who you are. Whoever just said you're good with videos. Thank you. That's very sweet. I can't see your name. StreamYard, if you have a little thing on your screen that says uh, to give StreamYard permission, click that so I can see your name because otherwise it just says Facebook user. You may have to like go out and back in to the video. All right, so we are going to stop here and then... These are tires, so I'm just going to paint this part right here, the gray. I like this gray. It's very good coverage. It's just a very pretty, like, neutral light gray. Oh, hey, Margo. Um, you do it all from Lightburn directly. My air assist has a solenoid that tells it to come on or off for cutting gray. So, Laura, do you use um, a separate air compressor or do you use the air compressor that came with your machine? Because I use that little bitty one that came with my machine. I had the intention of upgrading and I just never did it and I really don't feel like I need to. But I don't do a lot of engraving. If I did a lot of engrave, oh, why did I just paint that? That's supposed to be black. <laughs> See, that's what happens when I'm sitting here like talking and not paying attention, y'all. That's okay. We can paint black over the gray. That is no big deal. Black will pretty much cover up anything. I'm going to just do another quick coat on this side. You have a separate air compressor. Okay. 
Yeah, I remember being told that when I first got it, that I had to send it first and not cut directly. But then I, I realized that for cutting only, it really, it's fine. It's really just engraving that's or scoring. That's the issue for me, at least. I don't know. Maybe, maybe every machine's different, or maybe it's something to do with my light burn because I, I've updated my light burn on the computer that I used to design on, but I have not updated light burn on that computer in a little while. So maybe I need to update it. I don't know. But my air assist for cutting is all the way open. And I think for, for engraving, it's not all the way open because that's the way I was told initially to do it. Sorry, y'all, I get quiet when I'm like painting small little areas. Even for engraved score, you get, I get the light flash because you use only five PSI for it. So it's normal what's happening to yours. Okay. Yeah, I remember Brian telling me that in the beginning, like to, to send it to the controller and cut from there. But I have a few new files that have more scoring on them than my old files. So I'm finding that I need to, um, to send it first instead of just cutting straight from it. I'm just doing a quick second coat of this gray. I'm going to hit that with my, um, maybe your air assist is not working as well now as before. I don't know. And I think I'm going to hit this license plate again.
before I do the lettering on there. Pen is going on scratchy now for some reason. Okay, and then we need to seem to do some black down here. This is just straight up deco art black. Hey Sandra, how are you? That is okay, you can always watch in the replay. I wish I was on top of it enough to announce my lives like days ahead, but I feel like life is still a little too unpredictable to do that. There's just the endless to-do list of things that pops up. Oh, there goes my screen. Hold on, y'all. I'll fix it. If you know, you know. Bear with me for just a minute, y'all. to flip. Come on, there we go. Is that straight? There we go. Okay. Okay. We don't know. We don't know why that happens, but it happens. <laughs> Sandra says, we know. That's so funny. Hey, Wanda, how are you? You're late to the party. That is okay. What am I going to paint next, y'all? I think I'm going to paint the gray on here. That is all right. This one is really fun to paint, y'all. It's not, not that much. Once you get that back repainted, it's really not... Um, not like a ton of painting. And what really brings it to life at the end is the highlights. When you outline everything and add little dots and squiggles, that pulls it all together. Sorry, am I on the screen? I am. Okay, did I miss anything? You can just wipe it off too with a soft cloth and I do. Um, that's exactly what I do, Laura. I just wipe it off with alcohol. I don't even use denatured alcohol. I know I've heard 
people will say they use denatured alcohol. Um, I bought some of that a while back, but I don't feel like you need it. I feel like just regular, regular old alcohol does the job. Yep. And you know what actually is my favorite thing to use? And I don't remember who told me this. You, Laura, you may have even told me this. I don't remember. I've been doing this for a while. Um, sometimes I use hand sanitizer because hand sanitizer is just alcohol. And I can't remember if somebody told me that or if I just kind of figured it out because I had hand sanitizer sitting out there um, that I wasn't using. I don't know. But it works really well. And it's not runny. Um, you know, it's like gel, so. Just taking my black Posca pen. And coloring in the lines, kind of, kind of getting out of the lines for some reason. All right, now we are going to need to do the lettering on both of these. Great. Let me just do this. I'm just going over these lines that are already scored. Just like that. And I'm going to need, I think, a fine tip black pen. Oh, you use it. That's right. You said brushes is what you used it on. I think that's what I remember you telling me. Let's see. I've got a shadow because of that ring light that's making it like a little bit difficult here. So the love is just scored on here, and so it uh, it makes it easy for me just to go carefully with my fine tip marker. You could use a Sharpie. That would work too. Um, definitely a water-based Sharpie, not an oil-based. They have oil-based Sharpies. I don't use oil-based paint. Okay, we'll go over that again, too. Hey, Kara, how are you, girl? Thank you for watching. All right, so then we're just filling these letters, and these are a little bit chunkier, so they'll be easier to fill in. I think I can get away with using my medium tip for this. Now, if you want to cut these letters out and glue them on, you certainly can do that, but I am not doing that. Although I'm beginning to wonder if it would be just as fast and easy to do it that way. My advice is to try and stay just inside the score lines because when you go, when you touch the score line is when it gets a little bit blurred. Okay. 
And that's what I did on this eye. So I'm trying to make it still look nice and, and not um, messy. I might, I might switch to my fine tip. I'm not sure. Um, oh, and spray paint them. Kara, do you know of my hate of spray paint? Do you know that about me? I hate spray paint. I know. I should like spray paint. I don't. I, it's because I don't have a good place to spray paint. And, you know, I consider it an outdoor activity. And it seems to me like any time that I need to spray paint, it's raining or it's freezing. And so I just avoid it. And then also, if you're doing black, this is not a problem. But any other color besides black gets on the sides of the letters. And I try to not paint the sides of the letters because... It's just, it's much more work to paint the sides of laser cut letters. Because then I need to prime them and all of that. So I don't know. If y'all have tips on spray painting, please share. I know there's like a spray painting, like, not booth, but like sort of hood thing that people use. So they can do it like in their garage. I used to spray paint a lot back when I did. Um, I used to flip stuff like not really to sell just for fun. Like I would go to Goodwill and I would buy like old furniture or old um, decor, like candlesticks and stuff like that. And I would come home and spray paint them. But I always had to wait until it was nice outside. Warm and sunny. And I'm messy. I feel like I always get paint runs when I spray paint. I'm too heavy handed with it. I know you're supposed to do light coats. Only use Rust-Oleum in a cardboard box. <sighs> All right, Kara. I will teach you how to do Instagram reels if you teach me how to spray paint. <sighs> Not that I'm good at Instagram reels, but I'm good enough. I figured I figured out how to at least get some out there. Girl, I've got spray painting nightmares. I mean, I've spray painted things where I've gone inside and come back out and the wind has blown like one time I spray painted the little um the little wood balls but they were you know the wood balls that are like cut in half so they're flat on the back um she says deal so I had those outside on a piece of uh like a box like a you know a, a cut up just a piece of cardboard and I just laid a whole bunch on there and I spray painted them white and I was letting them dry so I could come back and do a second coat and I walked outside and half of them were gone because the wind blew and they went all over my yard and I was picking those stupid little things out of the grass. <laughs> and then I've had like bugs land on my wet paint. I've had flowers, like little leaves from flowers, like blow onto my wet paint. I just said, I give up. Painting is an indoor activity for me, <laughs> but if you're using a cardboard box, maybe you're doing it in your, in your workshop you do have a workshop i have i have a garage i have a nightmare is what i have my garage is kind of a nightmare my husband and i say that all the time we say it's kind of a nightmare because my son said at one time it's one of those things you know when your kids are little and they say something and it just becomes like a saying in your family that's just one of ours. I don't know. It's not even that funny of a story where I would tell you, but it's basically just like one of our things we say. We say that's kind of a nightmare. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that's pretty good. We're going to do some highlights and make it look better. Make it look not quite as, um, you know, blurry. 
you would like a lesson on IG Reels too. Wanda, if I could figure out how to film myself doing them, I can barely do them, let alone film myself doing them. I, that's next level to me. People who can pull that off, there's some good YouTube videos out there. That's how I learned. But again, I'm not that good at it. I, what I have a problem with is I do know how to use the timer so that you can um, have like a three or 10 second countdown before you know the words are going to start talking and you have to start mouthing with them. But for some reason, there's still this like, like not delay, but like it skips the beginning. And so you feel like you're behind when, when it starts, like you miss the first word. It's weird. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing wrong that, that that's happening. I need to figure that out. Um, okay. What do I need to do? I think I just need to do highlights now. I think I'm good with, um, with everything else here. Okay, so let's do, I'm gonna let that black ink dry. All right, let me do some highlights on here. Actually, I'm gonna do a second coat of black on this love real quick. Somebody is trying to call me. I can hear my phone buzzing. It's probably a telemarketer. I told my family, I'm love. Do not call me. Unless you're bleeding, do not call me. <laughs> because that's when my family calls me, y'all, and texts me when I'm live. And then if I don't answer, because I always answer right away, if I don't answer, then they're like, are you okay? Where are you? <laughs> and they forget, I'm live. I can't answer you right now. <laughs> All right. So then let's do some white on here so maybe some little zigzaggy things on our tires because all tires have zigzaggy things on them right <laughs> um what else let's do just like this and Like that. I'm kind of looking at my example over here. You know, my dots and squiggles that I do, y'all. And I need to do some black on here, too. I should have done my black first. I normally go... Um, with the black first because then the white on top of it if it overlaps slightly it looks better so i i made that mistake we'll, we'll get there what else just some black. So kind of in the same spots, but I'm just going to let it not overlap too much. Just kind of like that. Kind of off to the side a little bit. Okay. And you know what? This love was supposed to be hot pink. It was supposed to be hot pink. Dang it. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to go back over that with hot pink, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll try to do white over it and then change it to the dark pink. I don't know. All right. So these hearts, we'll do a little highlighting on those. I think I might just stick with white on those. Oops, this one. Just sort of whimsical, like really quick little 
little squiggles. Definitely not trying to look perfect, just little squiggles. Right. And then on here, we're just going to kind of go over the, the fat parts. Oh, of course, my neighbor is weed whacking while I'm live right outside my window. Do y'all hear that? I wish they'd weed whack my yard. That would be nice. Okay, so just to kind of highlight those letters a little bit, and it just draws your eye away from the fact that it's not perfect, which I really like. Um, let's do some highlights on here. Is that black? That's black. Okay, so I'm gonna outline my mirror, my window in my mirror. And you can hear that probably pretty well because that's where my glow forge is vented, is that window. So the noise is coming in through the vent. All right, let's do this. Let's glue this on and then we'll do the rest of the highlights so we can see where they need to go. Making sure that's on there straight. All right. And we will do some quick little, just like that. And like that. Again, I'm looking over here for for guidance, just my little picture that I have, my little example. And we did a little bit kind of like that and like that. And I might leave it, let me just do a few little Okay, and then it'll look better when we do the white. We're going to do white too. So everywhere we did black, we're just going to kind of, this is not my good white. This is my good white. <laughs> Does anybody have a good white pen that they're real attached to? This is my good white pen. Okay, so I think we're going to leave it at that. That's our car attachment. Can y'all see that? Right. I'm still debating on trying to change that to pink. It's bugging me. I don't know. I might do it later. Because other than that, I think we're done. I think we just need to put everything on our backer. All right. 
I'm going to lay this out for y'all. I'm not going to glue it. When I do glue it, I'm going to glue it with my same stick fast that y'all saw, my big, my big jug of stick fast here, okay? But I'm just going to lay it all out because remember, like I said, I'm not using these names. So I may need to shift everything just a little bit to make room for the names that I am using because they are a little bit bigger. They're like longer names. So I would put these on first because you're going to want, the way I designed it, you want your cans hanging off the bottom slightly, not too much because you don't want them to break off. And so just about like that so that they're hanging off just a little bit. And then our hearts go here like so and like so. Like that. And then this one says Jack and Ava. So let's get names on here. I know those are not straight. Hold on. Okay. So that is what it's going to look like with those names. But like I said, I'm doing different names. But I wanted to show y'all the finished product. I can't tell if that's straight because I'm not standing over top of it. It looks fairly straight on camera. Okay, so that's it, you guys. Pretty simple, right? Glue everything down if you want to do a bow. I don't honestly feel like I'm going to do a bow with this one. I don't feel like it needs a bow. Sometimes it takes away from it and these letters are pretty close to the top and the bow may kind of hang down and cover up the name. So I'm not sure I would want that. Um, unless you put your bow like at the top of your, you know, your twine or your, um, your, I can't talk today, wire. Um, okay. Well, let me know if you have any questions, but that is, that is it for this one. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, I didn't even mention the door hangers are 30% off today and tomorrow. So all door hanger files are 30% off. If you go to my shop, which the link is in the video description, the coupon code is doors30. So just type doors30, all caps, and you'll get 30% off all the door hanger files, like all of them, any holiday, that nursery files too, guys. So if you want to snag, um, a sale that is going on through midnight tomorrow night. Okay. Thanks so much for joining me guys. I hope you have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye.